Yeah, hi there, this is uh, TuxOcho.com again. Welcome on my video channel. Uh, during my experiments or engaging with the uh, Proxmox server and Docker container, I seen a Docker container specialized uh, Postgres SQL for DaVinci video editing software. And uh, so I thought uh, I would don't have to do a specialized Postgres SQL. That might be a regular Postgres SQL. So I installed a regular Linux system, of course, in a Docker container and made it ready for using with uh, Postgres SQL. So let's take a look on the uh, desktop PC how I did that. Okay, we are here on the uh, desktop PC and I installed uh, Postgres in a Docker container, but uh, that is the same procedure if you install it regularly on a Linux distribution like Debian or Ubuntu. So we will log into the uh, terminal, and uh, it's only a, yeah a pretty curious uh, host name, but it, that is all there is to it. The uh, default installation gives you. Uh, full um, access to the uh, database by the user Postgres. That's the same here. And if you use the command tool with that user, you are in the uh, command line interface from the uh, Postgres. And here we could uh, list the uh, databases already existing and that it you can see here the DaVinci database I'm using here for my local uh, projects. And here we got uh, the uh, users and you see here that there is only one user defined that is the uh, super user. Okay, in a local network uh, you could do that but it might be more advisable to use a normal user which doesn't have the uh, all the rights uh, to the databases. So we do that, we create a role like this one here and uh, that's the name of the user with the rights to create a database and of course the uh, super secret uh, password uh, maybe you will choose another but uh, that is okay. We do that and now uh, the interface said it created the role. So we display users. And here we can see that uh, the role name PM is created and has the right to create a database. So we switch the uh, desktop like this and start DaVinci. That's a studio version, but I'm pretty sure that works with the free version too because in the uh, last updates they did a lot on the free version making uh, team working available even through the free version and so you don't have the uh, to have the uh, studio version. As you can see here that's the database I'm using here for my local uh, projects with a couple of projects already installed here but we want to do another one. We add a new library you just figure out a name, let's say lib. You can use DaVinci because that's already existing. And now we got the IP address of the uh, server. The username or the role we just created. And the super secret password. And all we have to do is create. Takes a little while, you see that here and then the new library is online you can use it for your local projects and uh, if you do it here and choose an untitled project from here and uh, add uh, files to it or add uh, color grading you name it and uh, editing and so forth that all will be stored in the database and if you switch the machine like I do I'm here editing on a Windows 11 PC, which is a little bit smaller and uh, doesn't need an, that much power. I can edit here my uh, project locally on DaVinci Resolve and later on for delivering the uh, final video, I use another machine connected to the same database 
for exporting or delivering the uh, video in uh, full size. Okay, we can switch back like this one here. Do an L, and here you can see that the uh, lip is created here with the owner PM, as I said, and that is can be used for your DaVinci app. As you could see, that's uh, pretty easy. You just need a regular Linux uh, distribution like uh, Ubuntu, uh, Linux Mint or Debian or so on where uh, Postgres is part of the uh, distribution. Set it up and then you have a database for your DaVinci video editing software. And you can easily connect to the um, Postgres SQL and then you have the uh, mighty advantage that you can switch between different PCs like I do here. Sometimes I edit here on my home office uh, PC the uh, videos, but the uh, final export because I don't have a dedicated graphics card in this one is done on the larger PC here which has a NVIDIA graphics card built in and I can sw uh, switch between those PC just right away. And that is pretty convenient because I used to do that by exporting and importing the uh, project in the um, uh, DaVinci Project man uh, Manager, but that is uh, pretty time consuming and that uh, solution is way better. But there is another thing I want to show you and that is uh, multiple user collaboration. But this... Um Setup also has another big advantage, at least for those who are working on those projects with a couple of people. And that is if we go here to the home button and we go here to the project, I can enable multiple user collaboration. So a couple of people can work on this project together and at the same time, you can see now here that with this uh, symbol that it is enabled. And if we close this, you got another button here where the project uh, members are defined. And of course, you could do one person doing the color grading, the other person uh, is working on the audio, and the other person is uh, editing the uh, video clips. That could be possible either in a local network, and if you are internet speed is good enough you could even do that over the internet. As you could see here once you've set up the Postgres SQL on a Linux uh, server you can easily activate uh, multiple user collaboration and work with a couple of people on the same project. I don't use that because I work from I do editing color grading so on by myself and uh, but if you have a little group editing your videos or different parts of the videos like let's say one is specialized for color grading the other is uh, concerning about audio and another one is doing the editing of the uh, different video clips you can do that and since it's done of uh, in uh, regular internet protocols you can even you do it via internet over long distance so in theory one editor could sit in Germany the other one in, in Canada or you name it but then you have to of course harden the uh, access to the Postgres database uh, but uh, I couldn't show that here because I don't use that one. Okay, here with this uh, Postgres uh, solution, I'm pretty happy and I can switch between the different PCs. The only thing I can't do is that is because the uh, folder names and the drive letters are stored into the database. I can switch, can't switch to a MacBook and uh, finalize editing and so on. Maybe I'll find a solution for that one, but so far it's limited to either Windows PC or if you have two Macs you can of course do it um, with uh, uh, different Macs but you can mix the operating systems on that side. Okay that was my little review on uh, Postgres database for DaVinci Resolve. 
If you find that uh, video useful, you might place a like on the video. And uh, I surely would appreciate if you subscribe my channel, but then don't forget to hit the bell so you get a notification every time I upload a new video. Okay, that was my little review on Postgres and all I have to say till the next time, ciao, tux ocher.